Luke chapter 2, verses 25 to 32. And behold, there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. And the same man was just and devout, waiting for the consolation of Israel. And the Holy Spirit was upon him. And it was revealed unto him by the Holy Spirit that he should not see death before he had seen the Lord's Christ. And he came by the Spirit into the temple, and when the parents brought in the child Jesus to do for him after the custom of the law, then took him up in his arms and blessed God and said, Lord, now let us thou thy servant depart in peace according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, a light to lighten the Gentiles and the glory of thy people Israel. I want to, the point I want to make this afternoon is this. Salvation is found in a person, and that person is the Lord Jesus Christ. Simeon knew that. Simeon was, was guided concerning that because of the Holy Spirit. He was given an insight into things that the Lord was revealing to him. But this baby, the Lord Jesus Christ, is the Saviour of the world. He that hath the Son hath life. He that hath not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abideth on him. It's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God because we're sinners in the sight of God. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. There is not a just man upon the earth that doeth good and sinneth not. just want to look at uh, 1 John chapter 5 and verse 12. He that hath the Son hath life, and he that hath not the Son of God hath not life. The obvious question is, do you have the Son? Have you come to a saving knowledge of Jesus Christ? You know, although the wages of sin is death, that's the bad news. The, the good news is, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. There's only salvation found in Him. As we said, he that hath the Son hath life. He that hath not the Son of God hath not life. You know, there is judgment ahead because of our sin. But God wants to take that judgment away from us. And if you trust the Lord Jesus Christ as your own personal Saviour, the judgment for your sin has been passed upon him, and you can go free. We need freedom. We need salvation from sin, salvation from the wrath of God. You know, God is angry with the wicked every day. He must punish sin, otherwise he wouldn't be God, would he? God is just, and therefore nothing can, nothing can escape him. He knows everything. He knows our, the thoughts of our imprints of our heart. He knows all the things that go on in the dark. We can't get away with anything as it were before God. He knows everything. And yet when you trust the Lord Jesus Christ, your sins can be forgiven. And your slate can be wiped clean as it were. You can start off with fresh. It's not turning over new leaf, doing the best we can. All those things may sound good, but they'll never get us to heaven. We need salvation through the Lord Jesus Christ. We need to have him as our own personal saviour. You know, he came unto his own, and his own received him not. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. Are you saved? Remember, Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures. He was buried, and he rose again the third day according to to the scriptures. Your sins can be washed away in the precious blood of the Lord Jesus Christ as of a lamb without blemish and without spot. The only perfect man that walked the face of the earth can be your saviour. And you can be like Simeon and acknowledge before the Lord that this is the very Christ. This is the chosen one. Chosen one of God. The one that came to deliver us. To free us from the bondage and corruption of sin and eventually the presence of sin. Not only will he forgive your sins, he will break the power of sin in your life. He has the power to do that. And also then eventually we'll be, we'll be freed from the presence of sin when the Lord Jesus Christ comes back into the air 
to take the Christians to be forever with himself. Are you a child of God? Are you ready to meet God? Prepare to meet by God. In whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins. Trust Christ today, and you can have your sins forgiven through faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Repentance toward God. Change your mind. Acknowledge the fact that you're a sinner before God. And believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And the Bible, the Word of God says, And thou shalt be saved. Yes, there is a way that seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. Remember, what road am I travelling on? <coughs> Am I on that broad road that leads to destruction? Or have I changed course? Am I on the upward path now for heaven through faith in Jesus Christ?